Hi guys, welcome to Celebration Kids. My name is Dave. And my name is Paulina. And we're so excited that you're here hanging with us for church today. Before we get our service started, we have a few class expectations to go over. What's an expectation? An expectation is doing something to get a goal. We have expectations to make sure everyone stays safe and has a great time. First up, number one, listen to your leaders. Respect them and obey what they ask you to do. They are here to help you and to keep you safe. They are here because they love you. Number two, to be a good friend. We need to treat others the way we want to be treated. And don't just stop there. We need to treat people the way Jesus would treat people. We should use kind words and show love and respect to everyone. If you see someone who is new to Celebration Kids, make sure you say hi and be a good friend to them too. Number three, don't be a space invader. Let's make sure we keep our hands to ourselves and respect others' personal space. And finally, number four, have fun! That's the most important part. And now that we know all the rules, we can get started. Let's go! You're my courage. I don't have to be afraid. You're my fortress. No matter what comes my way. You're my treasure forever. Yes, we'll be together.
Yep, you got it. How was the trip? Not a lot of leg room. Uh. Oh, but at least I had dinner. Mm. Can you hand me that drink? Yeah, mm. I didn't pack that. I'm so sorry I'm late, John. I am having the worst day. Oh, great. Oh, we started already. Hi, everybody. I'm Brandon, and uh, this is The So-and-So Show. Uh, normally, I'm joined by my co-host, John. But today, it's, I guess it's just me until we, oh, here he is. Wow. That's incredible. Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> There's my guy. Yeah, how you right. doing okay. today? Well, yeah. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Uh, yeah. thanks for that, but actually I'm in a pretty bad mood. So. Oh, what's wrong? Well, you know, the weather outside is just awful today. And I, the, the top fell off of my lunch and I spilled half of it. And I cut my fingernails too close, so now my cuticles hurt. Oh, wow. so you, ow! Oh, why, why I'm sorry, you... I'm sorry, pal. I, you know what, though? I've got something that can make everything better today. Okay. Do you remember a few years back when I made those rose-colored glasses? Yeah, yeah. Didn't those get you in a lot of trouble? Uh, uh, flashback. Ow. Let's have slash! <laughs> John loses! Oh! Oh! That was then. I made a few adjustments. What kind of adjustments? Well, they're better now. And everything's better when you look through rose-colored glasses. Give it a try. I fail to see how a pair of glasses is going to make my day any better, but... Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, right? Oh, yummy. Mmm. Is that my hand? Uh, yeah. You enjoying it? Yeah. 
Huh. Everything is so positive. Yeah, the adjustments work, right? Yeah. Cool. Ah! Whoa! What is it? Nothing. Your head is... So super handsome? Yeah. Sure. Look, I gotta be honest, I'm not sure I can take this level of relentless positivity, so... Oh, well that's okay. Here, I can take it Actually, you know what? Let me, just a second, let me get started on my lunch first. Oh. Yeah, that's a good idea. And while you fill your belly, let's fill our minds! It's Bible Story Time with Kellen! Hey, fellas. Enjoying your lunch there, Brandon? Yeah, sorry, Kellen. I just want to get finished before I give John these glasses back. What? Uh, it would really avoid a lot of confusion if you would watch the show before your segment, Kellen. I usually do, but sometimes I like the confusion. That's fair. Uh, what, what, are we, what are we talking about today, Kellen? Well, we're going to be looking at the day the Apostle Paul became a follower of Jesus. You may or may not know, but Paul is a giant figure in the Bible. Ah! And I am a giant figure, too! Look, it's Horvath standing up to Collins! Hey, Horvath! Hi, Collins! Hi! My, my figure is giant. Not so tall, but very much wide. Ah. Horvath sometimes assists with the Bible story by doing exercises that help us remember it. That's right! Let's do this! All right. Okay, so Saul was on the road to Damascus. Wait! What? Who is Saul? I thought, I thought you were telling the story of Apostle Paul. <laughs> Oh, no, no. I mean, yes, yes. The Apostle Paul is who we're talking about. But he had a couple of different names. Some places he was called Paul, and other places he was called Saul. So Paul and Saul are the same people? That's right. I understand. Are you sure? First exercise! Okay, the Saul-Paul shuffle. First, you spread your legs, and then your arms apart, like this. Then you shuffle this way. I'm Saul! Then you do a 375 degree turn. Then you shuffle back. I'm Paul! We do this 373 five times degrees. Wait, what? Go! Okay. One! <laughs> Four! Juice Newton! 375 degrees! All right, what did Paul Saul do next? Uh, well, let's just go with Saul today. Let's do this, okay. Saul! Okay. Before he met Jesus, Saul was actually a pretty scary guy. He would seek out followers of Jesus and have them thrown in jail. That's bad. Yes, it was. You see, Saul didn't believe Jesus was who he said he was. So, one day, Saul and some of his friends set out on the road to Damascus where they were hoping to find Jesus' followers to arrest. Ah! Second exercise, the Damascus 5K in place, half marathon, fun run, that's not fun. We run in place for 5K miles. Go, one, 17, goose down pillow, Austin Pfeffer Incorporated. That's not a word. Blue no. five miles, K, where are we? Are we in Damascus yet, Kellens? Uh are we? No, we, we are not. Oh. But Saul, at this point, Saul and his friends were traveling on the road to Damascus when suddenly a huge light from heaven flashed around Saul. Oh, I know what that is. He's doing the final pose down at the Mr. Galacticon Muscle Expo. <sighs> 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 Not exactly like that. Oh. It was probably more like this. Ah! Kellen, where are you? Ah, I'm scared! Yeah, that's probably how Saul was feeling. Ah! So, you okay? Ah, I can't see. Oh no. Well, at that point, Saul fell to the ground. Then he heard a voice come from everywhere that said, Huh? Saul, Saul, why are you opposing me? The voice is coming from the cans! I'm scared! 
Horvath, it's just, it's, it's just a special effect. Huh? Okay, I don't want this one. Hellos. Oh! Next exercise! I call this the light bright face pinch! Come in real close. Closers. Closers. First, you start with your face and like a light bright is shining on your face and you squint your eyes like this. And then after that, you, the light goes away and you can finally see it and you go like this. Ah! We'll do this 148,627 times. Ready? That's goes. It. One. Ah! Two. Two. Ah! Ah! Five. Ah! Five. 148,000 and the other half of the number, I can't remember. Ah! Ah! All right, what happened next, Kellens? Well, when Saul heard the voice say, why are you opposing me? He replied, who are you, Lord? It was Jesus. Right. The voice said, I am Jesus. I am the one you are opposing. Now get up and go into the city. There you will be told what you must do. Whoa! After that, Saul got up and opened his eyes, but he couldn't see a thing. Not even his shoes? Nothing. Whoa! His friends had to lead him into the city of Damascus. Saul couldn't see. For three days, he didn't eat or drink anything. What happened next? What happened next? Did he eat on the fourth days? At least some sandwiches? Or a hot pocket? Well, oh, that's good. But actually, we'll talk about what else happened to Saul next time. Oh no! A cliffhangers! I love it. Next exercise, the cliffhanger. It's a great way to build up your seps. Ah, I'm cliffhanging. Ah. Okay, spoiler alert. Saul, who was also called Paul, ends up being one of the good guys. After he met Jesus, it changed how he saw everything. His faith was so great. He would go on to write a lot of what we call the New Testament. That's the thing about knowing Jesus. He can help you see things in a whole new way. Help me! Ah! Um, you're, you're not really. Oh no! There's I'm slipping. There's nothing. Oh, you okay. cut off the cliff! Oh! <laughs> you know what? I'll see you guys next time with more of Paul's story. Ah! I'm still falling. Oh, he's really going down. Ah! All right, Brandon, can I have my glasses back? Sure. Actually, you know, I don't, I don't think I need them after that. Kellen is right, you, you, you don't need rose-colored glasses. Having faith in Jesus can help you see things differently. Like, even when it seems like everything's going wrong, you can have faith that God's got a better plan. So when you really know Jesus and put your faith in him, it can help you see more clearly. You said it, Balloonhead. <laughs> Balloonhead. Yeah, don't worry about it. Reveal the question. Today's question is, what do you know about Jesus? Well, we know he had long hair and a beard and held his hands out like this a lot. You know, from the paintings I saw. Yeah, actually, we don't know what Jesus looked like, but we do know that he loves people. Oh, he can do miracles. Yeah, he's the son of God. Absolutely. Hey, talk about it together. What do you know about Jesus? Yep. So, do you think your perspective has changed? You know, are you seeing things differently? Absolutely. You know, just because my day started off bad, doesn't mean it has to end that way. Ah. Who needs rose-colored glasses, right? Uh, but, but I made those. And for that, I'm grateful. Until next week, I'm Brandon. And my glasses are broken. And this was the so-and-so show. See, I broke them? Yeah, you oh, did. I'm sorry. Well, it's probably right. when I threw them. Yeah, yeah, gravity and, and airspeed usually don't mix well. First pose, classic pose. <laughs> 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 I call this one uh, uh, confused which cereal to get at the grocery store. Wave at somebody you thought you knew, but it turned out to be somebody you don't know. Oh. Hey, oh. Uh. Hey, oh. Facing the wrong direction of the cameras. This, I can do this one. Yeah, this is easy. Where am I? Where am I? This next pose is called knee. A clothing uh, model in old Sears catalogs.
Before you get into your connect groups, I want to make sure you know three really important things. Number one, you can make wise choices. With God's help, you can make smart choices and do the right thing. And we can find out how to make these choices by reading our Bible. Number two, you can trust God no matter what. No matter what happens in your life or what situation you're in, you can trust God. Number three, you can treat others the way you want to be treated. You can make a wise choice to treat people with kindness and treat others the way you want to be treated, the way that Jesus would treat them. Thanks so much for hanging with us today. See you next week, Celebration Kids. Bye.